All right, welcome to another day, Peninsula Pursuit. Today it is February 24th, I believe. It is 10 degrees right now. And we are in the UP of Michigan, by the way, which is completely covered over nice everywhere, except this one spot with some open water. And it just so happens to be on Lake Superior. So today, my buddy Drew called me up and said, do you wanna go fish this spot? It's undisclosed location, by the way. Um, so I said, absolutely. I pull here. Absolutely. I got done with class today and got everything done. So we're gonna just head out here, try to catch some coho, steelhead, and whatever else um, lurks in Lake Superior. There's a little look at Lake Superior in the upper harbor there. Just completely frozen over. There's actually ice fishermen out there right now, which never happens. Never happens. Lake Superior hardly ever freezes over. The last time it got close was 2012, which was just a terrible winter, like multiple minus 20 days. And this year we've gotten crazy amounts of snow and some crazy cold temperatures. It's actually been a pretty harsh winter this year, so. We got the perfect storm of being able to walk out here with perfect ice and cast into open water for coho salmon, steelhead, big brown trout, lake trout, whitefish, menominee, walleye, pike, everything. Everything's here. So, you know, usually it's an early morning bite here, but we're running on an hour and a half of light left right now and, you know, you gotta, you gotta do what you can do here. We're gonna try to get one fish. And we made it. Look at that. There's Buddy. It's nice because it's not windy. It's probably gonna be windy out there though. <laughs> got whitefish cut, babe. That's, that's good. First of the chisel. Yeah. All right. Just walking out on the ice here. Drew's ahead of me. Ah. Maybe 100 yards, but we're getting close up to the open water. It's so it's so weird. The ice is like you got a spot where it's like it could be six feet thick, and then it's like two inches. Um, it's just Lake Superior is weird, you know. We don't have many bays and there's not really a lot of spots ice can really get locked in on Lake Superior. <clears throat> so you gotta be really careful. Definitely don't condone doing this at all, but you know, we got the precautions. into a big steelhead. That'd be awesome. Let's set the tone for the spring. Oh, big fish. Huge. Did you just see that? Oh my god. He just came out of the water like this. Big back fin. It looked like it was like silver. It was definitely not a coho. Not a coho. Unless it was a big coho. Not like the ones we catch out here. I want to see one just come up and smack it when it's coming in right here. Big so lake. They were hitting like right next to the ice. Really? <laughs> be cool to get a big old lake trout. The one that I first saw over there was a, like huge. Like a huge whitefish probably. Yeah. <sighs> like the first one we, I mean, you, we saw that one over there and then that one right here was huge. There's one. They're really active too. They're like skipping across the surface. <laughs> They're definitely chasing something. 
Because they're like coming up like they're coming up like like they're feeding. Yeah, whitefish are usually hug hug down bottom. I don't know what they're they're probably just eating all the smelt. Alright, we were just about to pack up and <laughs> I'm putting the camera away and I'm flying up the drone and I'm getting a cool couple cool shots of um, Lake Superior and the little open water that we're fishing. And I look over and Drew is absolutely bent over. So we'll uh we'll let you see the footage. Oh my god! Woohoo! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Oh my god! I gotta get the camera out, dude. Unbelievable brown. Lake Superior. Yeah, we thought it was a freaking uh, snagged whitefish. <laughs> we heard of this guy who caught a big brown out there. And we were just going for cohos. And we were about to pack up. We heard the ice cracking. I got a little sketchy at least. And yeah, I was just holding the spoon in the water. And all of a sudden I felt the tap tap. I started reeling and it was this guy, it was, it was crazy. We got a little close to the edge there, got a little sketchy, but there he is, or she, can't really tell. What would you say, it is a buck? Yeah, it's hard to or tell, I'd say, it's a, I'd say it's a hen just based on its small head, but. I don't know if they're the same as steelhead, they got right. that, the steelhead got that what the kind of a it's more straight here and the hen has the curve but I'm not sure with browns right we felt bad kind of keeping it but it's hard to release fish right there especially when they swallow a huge spoon and they're bleeding all over right and it was yeah it was just bleeding so and we're on the edge of the ice so you can't really hold the fish how big you think it is? you can't really hold the fish and you know in the water and release it nice we're like 10 feet we're like 15 feet from um the edge of the water and you know it's just it wouldn't be it wouldn't be right if we tried to release it and it just it just died in the water so we, we just kept it it's a trophy fish for lake superior for any body of water i'm gonna guess it's over it's over 30 inch brown trout right at the end of the day as the sun's going down drew drew hooked into it and 
just an awesome fight. Yeah, I feel bad keeping it, but not sure if I should mount it or or what. Definitely a mounter if you yeah. want to, for sure. It's beautiful. Looks kind of crappy right now with the ice on it, but right. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that craziness that was <laughs> Trophy Brown Trout fishing on Lake Superior. Open water in February. Open water in February on Lake Superior casting. I don't know if that's ever been done before and captured on a drone Trophy Brown Trout. That was, that was awesome. I'm just shaking with freaking excitement. That was, that was unbelievable. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We'll see you guys for Spring Mountain.